Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 46 of the Adobe Animate Tutorial Series. So today we're going to uh, create a simple gallery inside of Adobe Animate which is interactive. So for the size what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a banner size. So let's say for example I'm going to say 800 by height of 300 just like this. So I want to create a banner type um, photo frame slide so interactive slide so. Uh, in the animation. So what I'm going to do is let's say I'm going to add in three pictures for example So I'm going to go over to frame 10 right here insert frame right here And then I'm gonna do insert keyframe right here I'm gonna insert keyframe right over here as well And I'm gonna insert keyframe right over here as well So okay, you can see that my layers are divided into three sections just like this So to insert the picture I'm just going to go to import right here and I'm going to do import to library first and I'm going to select my picture that is the images. So I'm going to select three of my images. I'm just going to press open right there and uh, I'm, I have my pictures onto the library now. So I'm going to drag this one by one. So just drag this one out first. All right. So that's quite a large image. So I'm going to resize this out. All right. So let me just uh, reduce the uh, reduce the percentage and resize it so that it actually fits inside uh, inside my plane just like this all right all right okay so that's uh, that's the first image right there all right so now I need my second image as well so I'm just gonna go over here and then I'm gonna place my second image over here uh, drag it all right so that's quite a large image as well so let me just bring it down and then keep it over here so I'm going to use uh, onion skinning right here so that I know uh, wh where the previous image was. All right. So I have that as uh, that as uh, my reference point. All right. So let me just bring it down over here. So the other part is going to be cropped out. And over here, I'm going to bring in another image, the third image, and then besides that as well. All right. So I got my three images for an interactive uh, slide. So let me just bring this down as well. All right, there you go. Uh, bring this up a bit. All right, there you go. So let me just zoom this in. So let me just uh, show all. All right, and see how it fits out. So this is my first image. This is my second image. All right, so I need to align this uh, so that it uh, fits in with the first. All right, so first image, second image. All right, so I guess I need to fit this in a bit, just like this. Okay. All right, so just uh, drag this in, drag this one out, just right over here to the corner. All right. This one is done, and the third one finally. All right, so let me just use the reference point again. So let me just drag this in, and I got my reference point. All right, there you go. So I got three images well aligned with each other. So you can see that these actually play around with each other now. So if I were to just play this, you can see that the animation just happens just like that. All right, so the blank keyframe, I just need to remove this out, remove the frames. So if I were to play this, you can see that the animation actually happens. So what I want to do is I want to create a new layer right here and then add in keyframes so that this actually stops. I'm gonna use an action script for this. So what I want to do is I want the animation to stop right here in the beginning. So I'm going to go to actions and then I'm just gonna type in stop and open and close, close. All right, so I'm, uh, that's one. And over here, I want it to stop again. So just insert a keyframe over here as well. And then go to action and stop, open and uh, close bracket, stop. All right, so let's go over to here as well. Insert keyframe right here and then go to action and stop just like this. All right, so now what happens, let me just test this out. So if I were to uh, preview this out over here and test the scene, it's exporting the exp uh, SWF movie, you can see that this actually stops and does not play through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in buttons so that I can actually navigate the timeline. So uh, for that, I'm going to grab the button right here, the rectangular tool, and then drag in the shape just like this. All right, there you go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is convert this into a button, convert this into a symbol, and this is going to be a button. I don't want it to be on the same timeline. So if I were to see uh, it, it goes to the next layer, you can see that it actually disappears. So I don't want that to happen. 
So I'm just going to delete this out anyways, double click all of it and delete it. I'm going to create a new layer for this and then uh, draw out the layer, the button right there. So let me just drag this in just like this and I got the button. So just double click on this. I'm going to right click convert this into a symbol and this is going to be a button. All right. So just press OK. Go inside. Press insert keyframe right here. And I'm going to change this out. So just going to go over here. Just select this. Change uh, it into a different color. Just insert a keyframe just like this. And change this into a different color just like this. And go back. So you can see that I have my button right here. So I'm going to make three copies of this. One for the middle frame. All right. So I'm just going to use my arrow keys to well align it. Or I'm, I can use my graph uh, for it as well. So I'm just going to go over here and turn on the grid view so that it's easier for me. So go to view and grid, so grid. All right, so I'm going to leave a, a grid of about uh, two gaps. All right, there you go. And then one last gap right over here. All right, there you go. All right, so let me just uh, realign this just like this. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to select all of these and then uh, resize this as well. All right, so just resize this so that this actually fits around the gap. All right, so let me just go over here, resize this and realign it over here. All right, there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign uh, this each of the button onto a picture. So that's let, let's say the first button will actually show a frame number one, second button will show frame number 11, and third button will show frame number 23, where each of my keyframe is actually present. So uh, I want to go, I want to say go to frame and stop for each because I don't want it to continue playing after it reaches uh, that particular frame. So what I want to do is I'm going to go on to action script right here, go to code snippet, and I'm going to say go to frame and stop. So the first one is going to be go to frame one and stop. So one and close it just like this. And you can see that it is actually applied in the actions layer. So no problem regarding this. And for the second one, I'm going to go to code snippets again, go to say uh, go to frame and stop, press OK. And you can see that now I have go to left, go to frame 11 and stop. And for the final one, I'm going to go over to code snippets and go to frame and stop, press OK. And this is going to be go to frame 23 and stop. All right. So now I uh, applied the key, um, the action script to all of it. So just go to uh, control, um, control and go to test scene. All right. So now export this into an SWF movie. If I click this, that's my first frame. Click this and I go to my second picture right here. This one and third frame. So first frame, third frame, second, first, third, second, first. So you can see that this is quite interactive already. So you can see you can create and interactive content quite easily by using Adobe Animate and a little bit of action script. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.